I am Mario Marchese, also known as Mario the Maker Magician. Oh! Ah! <coughs> My eyeball! <laughs> this year, February 29th, we performed at the Old Church Concert Hall in Portland, Oregon. This is a really special place. We live all the way in Nyack, New York. We travel the country multiple times a year, and the Old Church Concert Hall is one of those venues that we always remember. Why am I here? Why am I talking to you? I'm talking to you because I've never released my live show. My live show is my livelihood. I've never put it online, ever. I'm doing it right now. And I only ask you guys before the show starts, if you could donate, donate to the Old Church Concert Hall. It's the oldchurch.org slash better together. Just take two, two minutes. Just go to the oldchurch.org slash better together and just donate. We want all these theaters back up again. It's a crazy time. We want to make sure that live theater is one of those things that open up again. Well, from my family to yours, enjoy the show. Hi. Hi. Hiya! <laughs> I am going to take something off of my shoe. When you see what I'm taking off of my shoe, I want you to shout it out loud. What am I taking off of my shoe? I never would have thought something as simple and boring as a shoelace might have the opportunity to do a little of magic. Thank you very much, thank you very much. And what's so exciting about tricks like that is how you can take a shoelace... Why are you laughing at me? Why are you interrupting the show? Why are you pointing like this? My shoelace is in my bottom. My bottom! Who saw that? That was a terrible magic trick. I'm extremely embarrassed. And now I'm going to cry like a baby. I will toss this shoelace away. Everyone say, bye, shoelace. And now that shoelace will never return again. I'm so excited that that trick is finished. Now, I, what? Yeah, I know it was right there. I put the shoelace away. So now I am here to perform a, what? Where? What are you talking about? What? I don't see anything. There is nothing there! Oh my goodness! A shoelace! I am gonna get rid of that shoelace. That shoelace is absolutely driving me bananas. Everyone say, bye shoelace. Go away! Good, now it's definitely gone. Oh my goodness! Did you just see that? The shoelace. Where, where is the, I don't see it back there. Where is the shoelace? No, it's on my shoe where it belongs. You see it up here? On my shoe! Can you believe it? It is on my shoe! On my shoe! I can't believe it! On my shoe! Do you believe it? We have a lot of magic to do. Everything you'll see here are my own inventions, things that I built myself, robots and stuff like that. Where well, you're still going like this. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put my shoe in your face. Okay, now, I'll tell you, <laughs> that's really gross. I need someone to hold this box right now. I need someone who does not want to hold this box, hold this box. <laughs> I need an adult. Someone's on his cell phone. Is there anyone on their cell phone? Let me see. Let me see it. You want to hold the box? Yes. What's your name? Mark. Mark is the holder of the sacred box. Everyone wiggle your fingers at Mark and say, ha! Mark, if I go near this box, you guys have to scream at me to tell me to get away from the box. So let's do a test. La da 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 da. That was good. That was good. So now the idea, the idea. Is, okay, that was really good. Okay, now I need another helper. Um, uh, let me see here. What? Let me see. I need this to. No, that's not good. Nope, that's not good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, uh, what's your name? Mira, could you take the water bottle? Okay. If I go near the box, you get me with the water bottle. 
Okay, so let's do a test. La da 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 da. Hey, Miro! That was good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, now we have to start the show. Everyone, say start the show. I need everybody's help right now, please. Wiggle your fingers right now. Wiggle them at my box and shout abracadabra. And now we can start the show. Everyone say rise. Isn't that beautiful? Everyone say down. Grab some magic and say ha. Ah. We're doing it. Go fishing like this and say woo. And give yourselves a big round of applause. I'm so excited to be here today. My name is Mario. I am a maker of magic. That's why I am here today. I. There is an eyeball there to watch. Oh, hey! I painted these with pizza boxes. I am the world's greatest magician. That's why I'm here. Hey! I am here to amaze and do things that you have never seen before. Things that you have never seen. Stop it! Things that you have never seen before. I am so excited. Oh my goodness! This is terrible! Why? Thank you! No, leave it. Okay. Now, if I, this is chaos. Absolute chaos. Sorry about that. Whose children are these? Let's see here. Back to your seats. Back to your seats. I am so embarrassed. I forgot my tie. Everyone say, oh no! Get the tie! Oh man, let me see here. Who's got my tie? Um, what? Why are you screaming at me? Oh, the box! I'm sorry. Who's got my tie? This is terrible. Do you have my tie, sir? He does not have my tie. Anybody have sitting with their hands on their knees, their eyes up here, smiling at me. <gasps> this gentleman right here, he could catch. Nice. Yes. Greatest hat trick in the world. I'm going to kick this in the air. It does a flip, lands on my head. Who wants to see it? Count to three. One. That was amazing. I'm kidding, I can do it for real. I'll actually do it with this flower right here. Count to three. One, two, three. Shaba. I can make it travel from this side to this side. Everyone say poof. That was amazing. I could flip the hat and twist the hat and wear the hat. If I give it a kick like that lands on my foot. Isn't that why we're here? To do amazing things. What? There is a stink in here! Ah! Okay, that is disgusting. Ow! Now, but, hey! Stop that. I can't believe this. Now, if I, hey! Stop. Stop it. Now, if I. Would you like me to wear my hat? On my foot. On my knee. On my armpit! On my head, like this? Where, how? 
listen, this is a very serious show. I don't want to hear any baloney right now, okay? Because you guys, what? What? Okay, I am actually a magic. Hey, I am here. Stop it! I am here to perform. Stop it! No, but I. It's okay. I Woo! can't see anything. It's okay. I ah! <laughs> Everybody, count to three. One, two. Let me see what the crap allows us. Let me see. Fantastic, fantastic. A little clown nose. That's all. If I no, the clown nose is here. That's where it is. What? Are you sick? What are you doing there? Stop it! Sorry about that. I was actually. I, what? What oh is It's okay. I got it. I, okay, this is getting crazy. I. Everybody, calm down. Okay. Can't believe it. That is disgusting. Everyone say one. Everyone say two. Everyone say three. Let me see who can clap the loudest. Maybe I'll pick a helper. Let me see. Fantastic. I, are you serious? This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. How is this happening? Oh my goodness. Fine. I will wear this cloud nose if, if I can take a wonderful bow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you want to see more, say more. Anyone say please? Watch this. This is my favorite trick that I'm going to perform today. Check it out. Here we go. What shape is on my lunch bag? A heart. You know that I love making things? Who likes making things? Raise your hand. I had a teacher, her name was Miss Rinella. Everyone say, Miss Rinella. She taught me about art, and it was the first time in my life I ever learned anything about art. She taught me about an artist, an artist named Andy Warhol. Everyone say, hi, Andy. Andy Warhol painted tomato cans. Everyone say, huh? Tomato cans, look at the tomato can. Look, do you see it? Andy painted thousands of tomato cans. I need everybody right now. Paint tomato cans on the floor. He painted them on the floor of his apartment. Paint them on the walls. He painted them on the ceilings of his house. He painted them on his armpit. No, don't do that. Andy Warhol painted tomato cans for a living. Sometime during his life, a newsman interviewed Andy and said, Andy, why do you paint so many tomato cans? You know what Andy said? I love tomato soup. That's what he answered. Rub your belly like this. And everyone say, do what you love. Oh, I can't hear you. That's what Andy taught me. Another artist Miss Ranello taught me about was Alexander Calder. Everyone say, hi, Calder. Alexander Calder took broken toys. Who has broken toys in their house? Raise your hand. He'd go to your house and ask for the broken toys. He'd go to your house and ask for your broken toys. And one day, you know what he did with all those broken toys? He built a circus out of broken toys. And in Paris, France, the whole world saw Alexander Calder's circus. And guess what? The newsman in Paris interviewed Alexander, and they said, why do you use broken toys? And you know what Alexander said? It was all I had. You have to use what you have. Everyone say, use what you have. Just like that. Everyone say, use what you have. Everyone say, do what you love. You got to do what you love, use what you have. And you know what I love? Shout it out loud. What do I love? Robots. I started building things that I love. Robots. This is a little robot lamp I made myself. His name is Mr. Lamp. And when I started building what I love, guess what happened? I learned the last rule. You have to have fun. Everyone say, have fun! And the second you start doing all those three things, something strange happens. All of a sudden, things come to life, you see? Just like this. Everyone say, follow the nose. Look at it go. Look, it 
people come back here too. You see, because you got to do what you love, you got to use what you have, and you got to have fun. If you don't have fun, you're in trouble. Just like that. Don't move a muscle, little lamp. Sorry about that. I was trying to. Oh, I forgot. He can do magic. Everyone say, go down. This little lamp has the magic. Count to three. One, two, God. Look underneath the lamp. You might see it. There it is. Let's see what the clap the loud. I'm turning the switch off. Now, who remembers the artist that painted to make? Who remember? Who remembers the uh, Hi! Stop it! <laughs> Mr. Lamp, are you not listening because you want to do a trick of your own? Is that why you're not listening? He can do one trick. He can play dead. Everyone say, play dead! There he goes, playing dead! Now here comes the test. Who remembers the name of the artist who painted tomato cans? What was his name? Andy Warhol. Who remembers what he taught me? You have to do what you love, yeah? Who remembers the artist that used broken toys to build a circus? Close, very close, Alexander Calder. You could say Calder. Everyone say Calder. Tap your chest. Some magic from the air, hold it up high, throw it inside there and say, have fun! There it is. Thank you very much, thank you very much. <laughs> Would you like to help me? Come up around over here, right up the stairs over here. Give me a high five, so nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry about that, high five, nice. Ow! <laughs> My goodness, you're super strong, high five, nice to meet. <laughs> I can't believe this. We are gonna make something appear. Nothing in my hat right now. Anything in my hat? Nothing in my hat. Put your hand in the hat. Make sure there is absolutely nothing inside of this hat. We're gonna see if we can make something appear. Now, abracadabra, what? What? How did you do that? Make sure there's nothing in the hat. We're gonna see if we can do some magic. Make sure there is nothing in this hat. I forgot, we have to have fun. Hold your hand out like this. Squeeze the clown nose tight. Squeeze it tight. Put your other hand on top like this. Other hand on top. And face the audience like this. Let me see who's sitting nice and quiet right now. Would you, what's your name? Aiden. Aiden, take the invisible magic. Aiden, take it, squeeze it tight, and throw it into her hand. And say, now. Yeah. <gasps> Did you feel that? Open your hand up. Take a look. See if anything happened. I don't know if anything happened. No. How did you do that? My goodness, I take this one, you take this one. Squeeze on it tight. Count to three. One, two, gone. Open your hand, take a look. My goodness, isn't that cool? Take it, squeeze on it tight. Everyone say bye nose. Put the nose in my hand. We'll make the last nose disappear together, okay? Now, bye. Whoa! You're the magician here. Squeeze as tight as you can with both hands like a superhero up in the air. Drum roll on your knees for count to three. One, blow on your head. Squeeze like this, arms like this. Grab one last piece of magic, throw it into her hand and say, now. Open your hands flat, see if anything happened. Open it up, see if anything happened. I oh my goodness! How did you do that? My goodness! Everyone count to three. One, two, three. And that is for you, right over there. You did a great job. You, sir, can you catch this for me? What's your name? Tim, you could keep the paper ball or you could toss it behind you. All right, where did it go? Who's got it now? Come on, stand right over here, please. Give her a round of applause. What's your name? What is it? 
Katrina, I'm so sorry. I know you're giving me the look like, how did this happen? I was here just to watch magic, and now I'm standing here in front of everybody. Katrina, I have a pack of cards. They're all different. Whatever card you pick will change the whole entire magic show. But it's important that you love the card that you pick. Does that make sense? So I would like you to say stop whenever you want, and we can do a trick together. Go ahead, say stop. Right there, take the card out. If you don't like it, you change your mind. I don't care. This is important, though, because people have changed their mind five times. But I promise you, the card that you pick is what the show is going to be into. So would you like, do you like it? Or you have to really, you like it or you don't like it? She likes it. Tomorrow when you eat breakfast, the first thing you're going to think is, I should have changed my mind. I'm just letting you know. But you can choose that card if you want. OK, that's fine. All right, put it inside the middle. Put it in there. Fantastic. Go ahead. And give her a big round of applause. Thank you, Katrina. You remember the card, right? OK. Katrina, do you want me to find the card, or do you want a robot? What would you like? A robot. Everyone say, get the robots. We learned about Andy Warhol, Alexander Calder, and now we will learn about my favorite scientist of all time. But before I say his name, Katrina, do you remember the card? Do you have it in your mind right now? Yes? Concentrate on the color for me, please. Just concentrate on the color. It was a red or black card, am I right? OK. All right, we're going to learn about my favorite scientist real quick. Oh, everyone say, shh. We learned about Andy Warhol, Alexander Calder, and now my favorite scientist in all of history, Thomas uh, Nikola Tesla. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Best scientist in all the world. My favorite. I have a lot of stories about Nikola Tesla, but I'm only going to share one today. Nikola Tesla. Everyone say 1898. The year was 1898. There were scientists all over the world demonstrating like I'm demonstrating. Magic is just unexplained science. That's all it is. So scientists would take some new discovery, show the world, and everyone would be wowed like it was magic until it became mainstream. And in 1898, Nikola Tesla, he built a toy, a toy boat. Hold it in your hands like this. And in 1898, in Central Park, New York City, he let that toy boat go into the pond of water. Let it go. And guess what happened to that toy boat when he let it go in 1898? That boat started moving all by itself. Oh, yeah. And the first time the world saw that little boat move, everyone thought it was something scary. Everyone say, ooh. Everyone thought it was something evil. Everyone say, no way. They had no idea that Nikola Tesla in 1898, he invented something. What did Nikola Tesla invent in 1898? Not a car. Did someone say a car? What did he invent? Not a drone. He invented wireless remote control. This is what you see here. And now, in 2020, for $30 with an Amazon Prime membership, you can buy a flying machine. It's an amazing thing. Katrina, you remember your card. Is that right? You didn't want to change your mind. Everyone count down from 10 to 1 really loud. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I got a card. Look at this. Tied. There's a card. Tied up. Tied. What is it? it? It's a four of diamonds. Did you pick a four of diamonds? You guys act like you've seen this all day. Are you kidding me? It is wrapped in a ribbon right above your heads. This is insanity. Nikola Tesla inventing remote control, 1898. And Mario the Magician doing magic with it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, if you want to see more, say more. I need another helper this time. Someone to raise their hand who wants to help me out. Let me see over here. Let me see. Would you like to help me? Yeah. Come on up. Give him a big round of applause. What's your name? Caleb. It does not start with a K. Wait, wait, what? Wait a second. K Your name is Caleb, but it does not start with a K? Yeah, it starts with a C. With, it starts with a C. Oh, so has it happened before when people ask your name that they say, oh, Caleb, I know you. K-A-L-E-B. Is that what they do? And then you go, no! Is that right? That's like me. You know what happens with me? My name is Mario, and growing up, you know what kids used to say to me? Mario, where's Luigi? Where's Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, I have a pack of cards. They're all different. I want you to take a card. Say stop whenever you want. Say stop. stop. Take the card out. Show everyone the card. Make sure they see it, Caleb. Make sure they see it. Make sure it's not a red card like Katrina's card, because I can't do the trick if it's a red card. And make sure, Caleb, it's not a diamond like Kay Katrina's card, because I will freak out. Okay. And make sure it's not a four of diamonds like our card, because I will cry like a baby. Now. No! 
Okay, this is terrible. Pick a different card, Caleb, whatever you want. Say stop. stop. Take the card out. Show everyone the card. Make sure they see it, Caleb. Make sure whatever you do. No! Caleb, oh my goodness. Let me see this card. I am picking the card for Caleb because these cards are driving me absolutely bananas. This is completely embarrassing. I'm going to pick this card over here. It's a jack. Everyone say, hi, jack. Take the jack. Show everyone the jack. I'll put the rest of the cards away, and we will do. No! no! Caleb, take the four diamonds. Face the audience like this. And I want you to rip that card in half right now. It's driving me bananas because Katrina already picked it. I don't want to pick it. So try, rip it up in half. Rip the card in half. I don't want to see it. Rip it up right inside in half. Did you rip any luck? Let me see. Oh, wow, you did it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was awesome. Rip it again. Oh, no, that's too much. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Okay, here, take a card out. Take a piece out. And do you, are you wearing socks? Do you have socks? Do you have socks? All right, stick that card inside of your sock. I'm going to take the rest of the pieces and wrap them up. Now, make sure it's in your sock. Okay, this is important, okay? Remember, you got it? I'm gonna wrap the rest up in a, in a little piece of paper here, okay? We good? Fantastic, here's your pieces. Watch this. I'm gonna take this and I go like this and we do magic. It's pretty cool, right? Keep that in your sock, keep it in your sock. <laughs> I'm not that good, it won't happen yet. Okay, give him a big round of applause. You did a great job, Caleb. Go ahead, take your seat. Keep that in your sock, yeah, keep it in your sock. Let me see here. Make sure he keeps that in his sock. I have a machine that's going to find Caleb's card. Everyone say, get the machine. It's the card machine. Could you believe it? The card machine. Everyone say, hi, card machine. All right. Do you see the light blinking inside of the machine? Yes or no? No. Do you see it? Yeah. All right. We're going to see if we can find the card. Wiggle your fingers. I have jumbo cards. We're going to find Caleb's card. If you see the light blink, shout. Abracadabra when the light blinks, and we'll find Caleb's card, okay? So wiggle your fingers, wait for the light to blink, and then shout Abracadabra. No, 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 wait for the light to blink inside here, and then you shout really loud Abracadabra, and then we'll find Caleb's card. You guys, when the light is blinking in the light bulb, that's when you shout Abracadabra. If I, I am about to stop this trick, only when the light blinks with the light bulb. That's the only time. Now. Are you serious? I am turning the music off. I apologize. This is embarrassing. This card machine is not working right now. I am so sorry. Don't listen to that machine. If the light blinks, do not yell abracadabra. No! I don't care if that machine starts shaking its bottom like this. Don't listen to the card machine right now. Even if it starts shaking its butt. Are you serious? We have to find Caleb's card. I'm, woo! This is terrible. Caleb, is this your card? Is this it? No, that's not, it's a four of clubs. Wait, oh my goodness. I am blocking this with my hat. So sorry, I'm gonna clean this up right now. See if we can find this card real quick. Okay, this is embarrassing. Everybody count to three. One, two, three. Abracadabra! I got one card. Is that your card, Caleb? Katrina, is that your card you picked with the drone? You guys act like you see this all day. This is crazy. Four of diamonds. I need another helper right now. I need another helper. Someone who's excited, someone who's smiling at me. Who's it going to be? Let's do someone on this side here. Is there anyone excited to help me? You want to help me? Come on up. What's your name? Des. Let's clap our hands really loud for Des, please. Des, we're going to do some magic together. Come stand over here. Everyone say, shh. Put your hand in the can. Anything inside the can? No. Nothing. Tap on top of the can. Anything fall out? Nothing. Des, go like this. Ha! Ah! I see something. Can you blow in the can? Blow in the can. Okay, that is disgusting, Des. <laughs> what was that? I Are you serious? Wait a Des, how did you do that? <laughs> Des, can you blow in the can? Oh my goodness! Let me see your ear. He's got magic in his ear. His hair. Oh, my. Des, you're the magician. Grab some magic from the air. Squeeze it tight. Blow on your hand. And drop it in the can. Drop it in the can. <laughs> Grab another one. Drop it in the can. Grab another one and drop it in the can. Do not grab another one. Do not drop it in the can. Des! <laughs> Clap your hands for Des, please. Des! That's a lot of money. Now, there's no more coins in the bucket, so even if you throw some more, there's no more left, because your magic has completely disappeared, Des. So you can try if you want, but it's not gonna work. Des! Throw a coin up high, throw a coin up high and see if it works. No, it doesn't work. Des! Throw a coin across the stage, throw it across the stage. Let me see. No way, no way, no way. No! Even if 
if I close this on top, the magic is gone. But Des, I tell you what, hold your hand out like this. I saw some magic in your hand, in your armpits. And let me see your nose real quick. Let me see, fantastic, good job. Clap your hands for Des! Look at this amazing human. What an awesome, awesome person. This is my last robot. Everyone say, aw. This is Marcel the monkey. I'm really excited about Marcel. He took about three months to make. He's a 3D printed robot monkey. Clap your hands for the great Marcel. My final routine. Marcel the monkey. Come on, Marcel. Yes, you did it. Good work. Marcel, look at me, Marcel. Can you say hi to all the boys and girls and everyone will say hi to you. If he waves at you, say hi, Marcel. That is 13 pages of Arduino code for all the geeks out there. It took forever. He would do this forever unless I stop him with the sound sensor right here. Marcel, look at me, Marcel. No more waving. We're doing the trick with the ball in the can. Now he will stop waving. He will pick up this ball, drop it in the can, and then everyone will clap their hands for Mar... You gotta be kidding me. I need to have a talk with Marcel. Marcel, am I the greatest magician in the world? Yes or no? That's why I build monkeys like Marcel, because he knows. Marcel, are you gonna follow directions today? Yes or no? He's gonna follow directions. This is gonna be amazing. Now, the great Marcel, look at me, Marcel. Marcel, can you put the ball inside the can and everyone will clap and cheer as loud as they can, all right? Who wants to see Marcel put the ball in the can? Yes or no? All right, here we go. Drum roll on your knees, my greatest invention, the great Marcel all by himself. 3D printed, sensor driven, puts the ball, oh no, Marcel, you have to lift the ball up if you're gonna do that. Oh, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Here, put it there, good. Now, he's, hey! Stop that. This is not funny. Wait a sec. This is actually going really bad right now. You're supposed to pick it up. What's that? Marcel, look at me. Marcel, you have to put the ball inside the can, okay? Everybody's watching, all right? You have to focus and concentrate. You have to put the ball in the can. Everyone's in a clap. It's gonna be amazing. Now, the great... You have to be kidding me! The great Marcel will now... Marcel! Stop it. Sorry about that. Marcel! Do not clap your hands for the monkey. No! Don't clap your hands for Marcel. I'm put, no, go monkey, no, I'm putting Marcel, no, stop that. I'm putting Marcel away. I am not happy with his behavior right now. I'm putting Marcel away. He's not being a good listener. He's not following directions. This is absolutely, oh, Marcel, I shouldn't have raised my voice. I'll, I'll give you another try, I'm sorry, okay? Well, this is terrible. Marcel, if you put the ball in the can, this audience will clap and cheer as loud as they can. Would you guys do that? You heard it from them, you heard it from me, Marcel. Put the ball in the can and everyone will clap and cheer as loud as they can. Here we go. No, not you, clap your hands. You have to put the ball inside the can and everyone will clap their hands for it. I don't even know what he's doing right now. What are you doing, Marcel? Yes, you have to focus. He's got one job. See if he can do it. The great Marcel. He did it! Wow! The great Marcel! Who would have thought today, coming in, you'd see a robot card machine, you'd see a robot drone, and I almost forgot, I almost forgot the box. Who's got the box? Oh man, someone's gotta bring up the box. Let me see who would like to bring up the box. Wait a second. Would you like to bring the box up? Come on up. Come on up. What's your name? Could you bring the box up? It takes a lot of courage to come on stage, and you are such an awesome outfit. Thank you so much. Come on up, Victoria. Give her a big round of applause, please. Victoria, I, you are such an awesome guardian, by the way. Have I gotten you the box since the beginning of the show? I have not. Well, I kind of did, but I never touched the box. Is that right? Could we take the, pull the list right off of that? That's the, this box has been in your hands since the beginning. Oh my goodness. The first trick of the show. The shoelace, remember that? That was pretty cool, right? And show them the box, let them see it. That's a box I made. Look, do you remember the pizza boxes falling in the show? That's what's on here, you see? These are all the signs. Here, open it up, let's see what's in there. What did we do after that? Take it out, what is that? We made the tie, do you remember? From the balloon, wasn't that cool? And, and pull that 
right up. Pull that out right up. After that, show the audience that box. What is that? What did we do? Show them. Face it this way like this. What trick was that? The, the noses. That was cool too. Pull the rubber band off. Let's see what's inside here. Yep. Pull it right out. And look at this. Look at this. There's a box. Remember what trick was after that? Show them. Let them see it. What is that? The robot. Pull that up. Pull that up. Yep. And open it up. Open it up. And then after that, look at this. What trick did we do after? What was it? The drum. The drone. Take that out. Take that out. Pull that out. Oh, look. Show the audience. What is that? Show them that. I don't want to touch anymore. That's the card machine. Open it up. Open it up. And there's another box in there. And then and, and take it out. That's a 3D printed box that I made. Show the audience that it's wrapped in rubber bands, buried within four boxes. Is that right? And you held it since the beginning of the show. I have not gone near it. Can you tell I'm milking this moment right now? This is important. Take the rubber bands off, but do not open the box. Please, Victor, don't open the box. I'm going to lower the music. No, 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 wait. There is a 3D printed box. Is there plastic printed on the top of the box, on the top? It's made of plastic, right? There's something printed on it. What does it say? Can you read it and shout it out loud? What does it say? Say it loud. Say it loud. Halo. But wait, wait, wait. Is it spelled with a K or with a C? C. Is that you? That's your 3D printed plastic box with your name on it, Caleb. Open up Caleb's box. There's a note in there for Caleb. Take it out. Caleb, you could take this box home at the end of the show, but stay right there. What's inside the note? Let's take a look, Victoria. Yep, open that up. Let's see what that is. Isn't that the same card that Katrina picked that she could have changed your mind? Isn't that the same card that you picked too? That you ripped. Is there a piece somewhere? Where is it? That's disgusting. Bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up, Kayla, bring it up. Let me see, bring it up, bring it up. Stand right next to Victoria, turn it around, see if it fits perfectly like a puzzle. Show the audience. You better believe it. <laughs> show, the show started with the shoelace, and I, now the show must end with what we started. I'm not on this stage to show these robots and how clever I am. I'm on the stage because of a teacher named Miss Ranello. Miss Ranello, I was 15 years old, and I didn't, want, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. My father was a stonemason from Italy. My first language was Italian. I'd go like this, he worked really hard. And when I was 15 years old and someone told me, I was in summer school every year from fifth grade to 12th, I was looking at my report cards from kindergarten. They were a nightmare. Too much energy. He never, he's easily distracted. I had no idea that years later, Miss Ranella would teach me about art and how important it is. And it's just these three things. It took me 15 years to come up with this. Tap your chest. You got to do what you love. Everyone say, do what you love. This is so important. And the younger you realize that, the stronger. Go like this. Use what you have. Yeah. And, you, and put your arms and say, have fun. Smell your armpit. All right? Yeah, you got to have fun. If you don't have fun, that's, then we're in big trouble. So we'll do it one more time. You see, this is what I have. is shoelaces and bottle caps and cardboard and tape. Everyone say, do what you love. <laughs> Everyone say, use what you have. <laughs> and have fun. That's the end for me. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Can you say thank you, Mario? <laughs>